Hello everyone, I am Cool Guy. Welcome back. And I've been busy over the past couple days, so in the description below, there's going to be a lot of links. Number one, from Story Machine on his channel. Myself, Story, and Candy Cakes did two flawless cards uh, over the weekend. Uh, so it's good. that one's going to be his point of view from the Warlock uh, on the second card. And in a couple days, um, from my point of view, when we were all hunters. And with all the ones I'm talking about today, that game hasn't been showed. So, And I kept it kind of long so you can hear the shenanigans and the callouts and just the banter. It was fun. It was fun. So also, on Planet Destiny, Story did an interview with me. That's going to be there. There's a Trials Highlights stream um, that's going to be there, our Trials Highlight video. And then also, I was on the podcast, Planet Destiny Podcast 1, and I'm very excited to be on there. And that's something I've always wanted to do, and I'm very fortunate and lucky uh, that they invited me. So today, we're going to be talking about the Fever and Remedy. We're going to be unleashing the Fever and Remedy on the Gunslinger. And if you guys haven't noticed, there's a lot of usable weapons now. And with these hand cannons, one of the main things is hitting cap, right? So... As you guys can see, compared to the Palindrome and Ice Luna, we're hitting cap. We're hitting max range. But where it falls short is going to be that stability. Now, you can get that stability back, but it takes away with what we're trying to do with the Fever. So you can go Smart Drift Control, right? You can go Smart Drift Control and get that back mm -hmm. a little bit. Um, and we run Reinforced Barrel, or you can do Hammer Forge to get a little bit more. But the strength of the Fever is running Accurized, because it does 88 to the head and, 86, or, and uh, 117 on a Reactive Reload kill. So we want to run accurized with reactor reload and battle runner it's what makes the weapon the weapon if not it's you can kind of get anything else on any other weapon well maybe not smart drift control but you see where i'm going um and it just pairs so nicely with some of his downfalls and what we want to do with the weapon because we have the trance and the woe and when arrested lands this should be pretty fun um basically get increased ability with headshots um increased reload to help out reactive reload the secondary is going to be the vendor teacup tempest and it's just another option uh, from the Wormwood, so it shoots a little bit slower, but it thumps a little bit harder. And this one's also Reactive Reload. Again, this is the Vendor. I run Army of One instead of Zen, because the sidearm, you're going to get a lot of kills just by yourself. So that's going to help out our Grenade and Melee. And I'm also running the Frosties to help out the Grenade and Melee. Uh, what else do we got here? And in between, you can either run High Caliber or Zen Moment, I believe. And uh, High Caliber, I think it's just going to... Or, or Hand Loaded, it's whatever increased ability. I think it's going to give me a little bit more... Oh, he's running. Good for you, man. He's running the Silmar. Uh, and one thing I want to point out in this game is there's a certain distance you need to automatically, like right here, you need to know this is sidearm time. Um, and just kind of mentally mentally think about that and realize that and know that. Because they're probably coming with you, or at you, with these sidearms, too. So um, at a certain distance, uh, depending on how you gauge that distance, I would just start pulling out the sidearm and just going with it. Because it's, it's not a primary fight anymore. You're in the lead. All right, we have reactive reload, bud. We have reactive reload again. Top right? Yep. He came in with the last word. I'm also doing the um, classic playlist. And historically, the classic playlist has some of the more sweater players. So, uh, our sweatier players. So, I decided that, you know, let's see how this gun truly does. We would do this. We're going to starve this. He's probably going to come up. So, I'm going to have my teacup ready. Against the last word. Fear the teacup, sir. We're gonna check this out. Side left spawn. Oh, he's already coming up. So like, again, I have my sidearm out, right? Uh. And check out. Nope. That means he's back here. Probably. He's no, he's yeah, he's still working. This guy right behind me. We're just gonna keep on keep on moving. And in theory, I should have had out my sidearm. I, I think I would have won that duel. Um, it's just the animation of me switching back to the primary. It just kind of slowed everything down. And look at that. Versus the last word, you know? I haven't gotten any uh, 117s yet, which I plan to. But the whole point is just showing that accuracy-wise, I'm hitting shots. And it's amazing. This is probably a very poor... Poor, premature. Oh, nope, nope. Yep. Yep. Had to prioritize right there who I wanted to go for. She had my sidearm out. So, I mean, I'm still trying to teach myself. Um, at a certain distance, it's almost like just... You, you got to. You got to. You got to shoulder charge me. I knew that was coming. Uh, 
Uh, but one thing I have noticed, man, you guys let me know down in the comment section. They talked about initial shot accuracy, and well, the bloom's still there. I haven't noticed the bloom being there, okay? I can feel I can confidently spam a, a hand cannon, and it hits the majority of the time. Like, it really does. So, what do you guys think about that? All right, reactive reload, see if we can catch somebody. Oh. Oh. Should have tried to melee. But yeah, I mean, this thing, and so, since it has such poor stability, it resets itself pretty nice. You see, I can still see the, uh, the actual dot on the crosshair. So it does uh, particularly well when you spam it. I mean, I wouldn't worry about spamming this gun. I think it does quite well. Kill him. I don't know why he didn't challenge me. I have no idea what happened right there, but I'm glad I got away. I'm still being rushed. That was just a horrible spot, and honestly, I stayed alive a lot longer than I should have. <clears throat> Hopefully the second golden gun's close for- yep. So we're gonna hit it for heavy. Oh, what? And the throwing knife, like, was directly in his chest, and it didn't even go off. That's okay. I've died a lot more than I wanted to. Um, but now's the... Now's where, do I want to go to this heavy? Do I want to go to the other heavy? And honestly, I'm going to rotate to the other one, because it gives a little bit more room for the golden gun. It gives a tad bit more room for the golden gun, so we're going to go out to this outside. I think I just got saved by armor. So this guy's over here. Only five minutes left. Heavy ammo available. Oh, I saw him at last second, man. And you know we're running the Thunder Lord. This guy's probably gonna come right to me. Choke that off. That one hasn't been picked up yet. And he's, he's got an LMG too, and I'm very confident in Thunder Lord versus any machine gun in the game, so. This guy coming out back right? I heard him Twilight Garrison. Got a cheeky little angle right there. If I would have been all the way exposed, he would have killed me. I'm such a bad guardian, man. I don't have the new uh, Void Thunderlord. I don't have the new Solar one. I don't have the Outbreak Prime. I don't even have the new Galahorn. It goes on and on. I, like, I'm a bad guardian. So we ended up pretty quick. We ended up pretty quick. We had a, a fairly decent game. I didn't get any 117s with the uh, with the Fever and Remedy, but I hope you guys can see how dominant it can be. And it did very well against Palindromes. Uh, a lot of my deaths right there were me actually just noticing and realizing I should have switched to my set to my sidearm. Look at all. Let's talk about this. Except for this guy. I'm sorry for that. Little reactive reload revelator, and uh, one of the worst shotguns in the history of the game is right there. Red Spectre Battle Runner. And I got the, uh, I think the underdog crowd control uh, shadow. So I really hope you guys enjoyed the live gameplay commentary. I really like the Fever and Remedy, and I always have. It's good for any game mode. Um, and it's really nice in threes because if you can get somebody and um, they're coming to an orb, you can shred them with those 117. I promise. So again, and until the next one, I am Cool Guy.